Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today my gift to you is uh, this video on how to properly hug a tree. Uh, yes, but uh, before we start uh, tree hugging, uh, there's also a proper way of uh, entering a forest and this is you stop at the edge of the forest, you announce yourself, let's say with three storms and that way Everybody with half a brain knows uh, that is not a random. And uh, you asked the oversharing spirit or that group consciousness of the forest for permission to enter. Uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, this is a sacred way and very polite. And if you get a bad vibe, uh, I wouldn't go in. And if you get a good vibe, uh, you know, you welcome, uh, smile and behave appropriately. All those beings here are conscious and uh, aware. So uh, I used to do the same thing in the uh, desert in Arizona. There are a lot of rattlesnakes and other poisonous critters around. So I would stomp uh, the ground. Then everybody in that area knew uh, there was something big and heavy around and they could not play surprise. You know, many of the snake bites, you know, are self-defense of the snake. To, to surprise a little bit now, I would be around. I, I never got bothered, and actually I did the same thing. Uh, we had a shed that was uh, black widow infested. These are those tiny little black uh, spiders that have a violin on their back, and they protect their young. They uh, have them crawling on them. Our shed was full with them, and uh, I just, uh, you know, without gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, thinking back. And I would just stomp the ground and, uh, you know, I never had any problem. Of course, I always looked where I was uh, grabbing, uh, but, you know, I never had any problem. So much for the introduction on how to get into forest. Now about tree hugging. So, again, there is a right way and there is a wrong way. Uh, probably everybody knows the hippy dippy way. And Mm. And let's just ask the tree here, you don't just walk up until people start hugging. Would you like to um, be hugged by me? Oh, and I haven't gotten this upflow of energy. Oh, I'm out and start buzzing. <laughs> so yeah, he likes this. And so um, let's, uh, oh my God, I'm getting all spaced out now. Uh, from him. So, yeah, so first is uh, permission, then uh, like this, um, you know, people will make fun of you and uh, you'll keep making fun of you as a tree hugger. Um, worse would even be uh, like that. Uh, you might not be able to visit playgrounds anymore. Um, so, but the innocent way, uh, when nobody thinks you're crazy, um, is like you just pretend to be tired <laughs> and chilling, right? So accept the cool pose, or plant your feet into the ground. And now actually your spine is all the way in the, at, the, at the tree and the spine is kind of the highway of energy in your body. Mm -hmm. And now, this is what you do. And of course, before we do anything like this, we ask that our source and our high self, our highest self, and our spirit guides uh, be with us. And uh, that also the angels and other beings that protect us humans um, be with us. Also the spirits of the forest here. Uh, and uh, that we are all safe here. And that there is going to be a lot of love. Mm -hmm and her cooperation and upliftment. Amen, 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 amen. And of course, I before I apologize for the misbehavior of men, um, you know, uh, torturing nature and exploiting nature. Uh, amen. And uh, so now let's do the energy love running. Uh, so first thing is, as a human, you know, you want to charge up your heart chakra so you connect with the earth first. So just imagine you just reach out through your legs 
into the earth, shape shift, like you know, makes out like a blow up toy. And on the inhale, you draw that love from the earth into your heart. And then on the exhale, you go deeper into the earth. And you just breathe back and forth. And I ask my little, my tree here, to maybe help me to ground and connect deep into the earth. He's expert at that. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. And this is a pine tree. You know, pine trees, they grow very straight. And so they run a lot of energy, like bamboos, you know, um, high, high energy. They're considered the pious trees because they run so much energy, you know, different to a fruit tree, uh, different energy. Mm -hmm. So my feet are buzzing now. And now I open my crown chakra, so I take that love that's coming from the earth and through the roots, from the tree, you know, into my heart. And on the exhale, I just keep pushing this out the top of my head. I also put the, uh, the tongue to the top of the palate, and that way you have more uh, area through which the chi can flow into your body. Mm -hmm. Deep breathing. You can even help it, you know, this movement. Hmm. And you ask the tree again to open our crown chakras and connect us with him into the heavens. Of course, everything for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There are mosquitoes here, right? And of course, you have to smile, you know, and that way you are open to the love vibration. Now put your hands on your heart chakra. And then stop breathing, just tune inside and observe your energy body. And that's a very fun experiment, uh, just when you have your eyes closed, listen to the horizon of sound, you know, go 360, and find the gaps in the sound. Like here on the left, there are some cars and traffic noise. There are some birds. Try to find the gaps. And that's a great way to connect to a place. All right, let's come back to Earth. So let's get grounded. So we thank all the beings here. We thank a little tree, right? Let's. <laughs> God, he's waving. Is the only one moving here? <laughs> awesome. Got him. Really crying here. So, I love you. Uh, Namaste. <laughs>